So what's up everybody? I know what you're probably thinking. This is an odd way to start a video, but I just came back from Reefa Palooza and I got a crab load of frags to acclimate. So I thought as I was talking to one of my homies over there, shout out to my people up in Queens. How is the best way to acclimate all of these frags and not sit in front of your tank for about five hours doing it? So I thought I'd just take this time to show you From how From this I moment do. on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha. Welcome, brother Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha. Enough of the Sharkbait. Sharkbait, Many of you have seen me acclimate corals in the past. This is one of the ways that I do multiple pieces at once, and I'm going to show you what you're going to need. You need a drip acclimator. This I got from Bulk Root Supply a long time ago, but you can make one yourself with a little piece of airline hose. This one is bent in a U-shape to fit over the tank. And I have a little clip connected with a shutoff valve to control the rate of my drip. So that's one piece. You're gonna need a bucket. <laughs> the bucket is gonna match your next piece, which is a two and a half gallon tank. I got this piece with a little piece of a uh, acrylic that I use to hold my frags while I acclimate them and what I do is I have this little rock that I put in there depending on the size of the piece I put the rock under there to keep the pieces in place so this little two gallon is equal to this little two gallon bucket so I am going to show you how it's step set up. one I have taken my white small bucket and filled it up with RD, RODI water you want to ask me why because I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. This is going to act as my water change. So I'm going to mix up this small bucket worth of salt, salt water, and I'm going to match it to this two and a half gallon tank right here, which is like this. And what you want to do is the tank is nice and clean. You want to take the bucket and do it one hand. And you're going to empty it into the smaller tank. To see just how much water you're going to need to do this. And as you can see, that is a little less than two gallons of water. So now I know exactly how much water to take out from the tank during the water change. So what I'm going to use is the old water from the tank to drip into this, and then I'm going to refill the frag tank with clean, fresh water. So what you're doing is you're doing two things. You're changing water, you're acclimating your corals, and you're going to give them a clean, fresh new start. Twofold, boom, boom, one, two punch. And you can take as long as you want. You wanna take a couple of minutes, you, you're gonna take an hour, you can set that shut off valve as slow or as fast as you want. So that is quick and easy where I don't have to watch my tank drain. I know a lot of you have said they've set up acclimation systems and they've accidentally forgotten about it and had a drain onto the floor. I take my little two gallon, I empty it into the five gallon, and guess what? Now I know exactly how much water to take out of my tank this much. That will be the old tank water, which I will use to drip into the two gallon bucket. And this will be fresh new water for the tank. Easy, easy peasy. All right, so I thought I would spare you guys the uh, long watch of me emptying the tank water out, but this is the old tank water. I have added the new tank water into the tank, and it's nighttime, so everybody is sleepy, and the corals are all laying down for the night. And I got my frags in the two-gallon tank with the water that they came in. Well, it was good for me that I got these guys from the same counter, so they're all in the same water. If not, you can use a cup and drip acclimate or you can use a smaller bucket but uh, for the sake of keeping this video short I got them all in the two gallon and the only thing left to do now is start the cycle so I mean the siphon so a little lip power blam and here we go we got the siphon started here good thing about using the airline tubing is you can adjust it with one hand until you want it uh, slow or however fast you want it to acclimate and you can use this same method for fish you know invertebrates two gallon tank shut off valve I use a clip here which holds it in place uh, I never rely on just having that hose laying there once again we want it to be on autopilot 
I shut the uh, valve off to a slow drip and I clip it onto this using a uh, paper clip which doesn't rust. You can get these at your five and dime store. They sell them by the pack. But uh, let me just stick this on here with the paper clip. It hooks on. I think that ought to do it. All right, it's in place. And now I don't have to worry about emptying because only the amount that's in this bucket will flow in. So now I'm left to go play video games while these guys acclimate. And if you haven't tried this method, I definitely recommend it. So this is D signing out, trying to wrap it up. Till next time, easy acclimation, baby. See ya.